why there is kidnap insurgents in the southwest Ghania dams sssg gives insight you will be shocked some of the things that are going on and why these things have resurfaced remember when sunday boho took it very seriously and was you know looking out for the people you know this whole thing died down and amutekun was walking these things happen when they know that the people are defenseless sadly the government that we have wants the people to be defenseless because they have a mission statement to give these people an upper hand because i don't understand what sunday boho did other than saying people should be able to live their lives and for this reason he has offended the government please do not forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe god bless you why there is kidnap insurgents in southwest Ghani Adams. The Aremu Akokofu of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams, on Thursday, blamed the police for fueling the proposed partnership that was aimed at searching the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, insisting that the growing instance of kidnapping and killings on the road could have been couldn't have occurred have the police authority allowed the partnership arrangement to stall terror. The Yoruba leader spoke while reacting to the prolonged attack on travelers by bandits on the road. The Fulani headsmen that was once chased away are now reappearing. Ghani Adams, who is conveyor of the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group, SSSG, stated that the local security outfit had in a letter written to the police in September of last year, requesting for partnership with the police authority to join in the normal patrol route along Lagos Ibadan Expressway to assist the police in ensuring safety and effective security along the road. He said the letter was in response to the growing spark of insecurity along the road, which, which remains a major road in the region. The reason for the request is to use our strength and network to secure the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, which has remained volatile as a, pro, as a result of prolonged attack, including robbery, robbery, kidnapping, killings, and other road vices in the region. The idea of seeking partnership with the police came up after a series of meetings with leaders and stakeholders at the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group to assist the police in securing the Southwest along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The letter dated September the 22nd, 2021, which was addressed to the Commissioner of Police Security Advisor, Director of State Services, Security Services, DSS, and other security operatives in Lagos, Ogu, and Oyo. Ghani Adams, who frowned at the rate of kidnapping and killings along the road, said, Given by position as the Arimu Akokofu of Yoruba land, I have received many calls from people that felt consigned on the recent attack on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, and I think it is time to tell the world of our efforts in securing our region. But sadly, it feels very much like the security agencies don't want things to change and they don't want help. And yet, people are dying. That's what is going on, Ghani Adams. They, don't want, they, are, they are a proud bunch, okay? You don't know how to do something. Somebody is offering you help. You say, no, I don't want the help. Keep the help. I mean, does it make sense? You see what I mean? You don't know how to do something, yes? Now, somebody is offering you on a platter. Somebody is offering you this very help, yet you don't want the help. So does it show, does it show wisdom? Does it show wisdom at all? It doesn't. It doesn't show wisdom at all. It doesn't show wisdom at all. You are lacking. You are deficient in that area. You can't do anything about it. Yes? Now, help is being given to you on a platter. Common sense, common sense, which is not common says listen to the person get you know ideas and see how you can move forward but guess what 
It feels very much like Nigerian government and the security operative have taken an oath to allow these people roam free. So when you look at it, you will wonder exactly what is going on. How come they cannot, you know, make right decision? Buhari came on air, the president of the country. And in fact, his words were more disturbing than you can ever imagine. Yes, he came on air and he was asked about secure, uh, you know, uh, policing. And what did he say? Uh, uh, state policing said there is no chance at all for that, that the state government will take laws into their hands. If they take laws into their hands and people are secured, is it not better? The people that, you know, Nigerians that go every day, it's only God that can tell us the true number. Only God, only God Almighty can tell us the true number of numbers of Nigerians that go every day. So if the state government, they all pick up st you know, state policing and are doing right by the people, you are saying, uh, in your opinion, the governors will take advantage of this. Excuse me, what advantage are they taking? Oh, because we need to understand it. What advantage are the governors taking? Because you are not taking advantage. The whole power concentrated at the center. You're not taking advantage of the people. Is that what you think? Because you are the president. And this is why we need, you know, we need not rubber stamp legislators, but those who can be honest to ad advise, address this government appropriately and tell them as it is. That you are, you are, you are hindering the people of due progress. Sunday Boho was one of the persons, you know, who was who was mounting that area and was ensuring safety for the people. What did they do to him? They say no, eh, he wants the full and needs to go. But it's these same full people that are causing evil. These same people are causing all forms of atrocities. Now, this young man has written to Nigerian police and security agencies saying, let's let's work together. We're ready to partnership, we're ready to have partnership with you to ensure safety for all. What did they do? They threw it back on his face. Nobody responded. Let's work together to ensure safety in this area because we can hear of, this, of the things that are going on. They all refuse because they don't want safety for the people. Yet they tell you, they come and give you stories. Don't be deceived though. To a large extent, it's like they, are, they, 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 they love what the Fulanese are doing. Okay, the Fulani headsmen that have turned criminals, they love the way they are attacking people on the road and they are committing all forms of crimes. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.